good day everyone. Today we are here with Nisal Udavatta, who has placed District 1st and Island 5th in the Biological Science stream for the 2023 GCE A-Level examination. Nisal, could you please tell me a bit more about yourself? Of course. So, as uh, Chandra said, I, I, my name is Nisal Udavatta. I joined Trinity College at Grade 1 in 2010 and I recently finished my 14 long years of education at this college. Uh, as he said, I sat for the A-level examination of 2023 and was able to place uh, District 1st, Island 5th in the Biological Science stream. Uh, apart from the educational aspects, uh, I was involved in quite a lot of clubs and society activities in my time. Uh, I, was, I held several executive positions like the treasurer of the Single Literary Union, uh, captain of the Science Society quiz team, and the president of the Astronomical Society. Apart from this, I was also a member of a variety of other clubs like the Air Rifle Shooting Club, uh, the Natural History and Heritage Society, and the Automotive Society. So Nisal, I think the main question on everyone's mind is, how did you manage your studies? Of course, uh, a lot of people ask that question. But uh, I think it's all about time management and stress management. You see, uh, when you are uh, managing your studies, you should always have a plan or you should always organize your work according to their importance. For example, if you are have a, having a, an exam uh, in the recent future, you should be spending more and more time uh, focusing your time on studying and uh, relevant activities. So I think it's all about not letting it overwhelm you. Just having a plan, getting a timetable, and uh, like creating a to-do list, you know, you can check off what you, sh you should do uh, when it is required. So I think uh, it's all about managing and being mindful of what you, what you need to do at a certain time period. So Nisal, you told me that you were in a plethora of clubs and societies and that you even held executive positions in some of them. So how did you manage all these extracurriculars along with your studies? Well, um, I think it's all about giving focus. You, sh uh, you should know how to prioritize. Of course, we are, as we are all human, we can only do so much at a, at, at a certain time. So, uh, when you are doing clubs and society work, alongside, of course, educational work, you should know when to prioritize what. So, as in, uh, for, an ex uh, for an example, when there's an event of your uh, club or society you have the membership of, you should know that uh, you should do your part in due course. You should not let it uh, overwhelm you, as in you should not wait for the last moment to do your work. So, uh, it's, uh, I don't think uh, any of the clubs we attend at school should be, uh, should be, a, should be a hurdle for everyone. As in, uh, we should be able to manage both work, both studies and the clubs and society work because uh, they are always, uh, there are several people who are doing the clubs and society at the same time. As in, uh, there are many positions and uh, people should know to divide the work between them. Uh, if we do that, there will always be plenty of time for studies and for the clubs and societies also. I'm sure there's a lot I can learn from you. Next, what inspired you to choose biological science as your stream? Uh, I think, uh, like most people, even, uh, even when I'm little, I always dreamed of becoming a doctor. Also, as I grew up, when in, even in all level time periods, I also loved the science subject a little bit more than the others. So, I think it's both combined love for the subject and the, what I can become after that made me choose biological science. Interesting. And I'm assuming your ambition is to become a doctor, as you said. Yeah, of course. Uh, it, it is to become a doctor. And uh, if, if I'm being more specific, I, I've taken interest in surgical science and related fields. So that would be my ambition, to become a surgeon. Now, another question that I was waiting to ask you. What was your initial reaction after seeing your results? Well, uh, to be honest, I think it was surprise. I mean, I, I knew that I had some potential to get a good rank, but uh, I, I mean, nobody's, uh, nobody would be expecting that they would be getting a top five island rank or something like that. So I was initially surprised and of course followed by joy and delight. 
Then after seeing my parents and my friends and teachers so happy about my result, I also felt quite proud in that moment. Now, no one can really achieve these things alone. So, who helped you in your journey? Oh yeah, I think I've been very fortunate in that regard because I had a lot of people helping me along the way. Of course, my parents, my brother, uh, teachers, everyone who taught me, my friends of course, and there were some seniors who were like one or two years older in our school who were quite, uh, who were quite helpful in giving me guidance and uh, helping me manage my work. Thank you very much, Tisa. I think all the young Trintians out there have a lot to learn from you and that you act as an inspiration to all of us. Thank you very much, Tisa, for coming. Thank you for having me.